All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to our first episode of Crossroads Inn. We are going to be playing through the campaign. And if you guys would rather just see a sandbox or something, let me know. I figured we'd play through the campaign that way, you know, you know if there's people that haven't actually played the game and want to check it out, we can do that. But prepare for a lot of reading. There's some there's some story behind this, some lore, but we'll get started on it. Delcris, a continent where three rival kingdoms are fighting for dominance and gold. For many centuries, one has always had the upper hand. Yorven. With its prospering cities, it has the economic strength to challenge the trade power of southern Sambria. And with its city's high walls, it can withstand the military might of Untermarch, neighboring to the east. But the golden age of Yorven is nearing its end. And a sudden tragedy. The death of the wise and just King Owen marks the beginning of a new era. The kingdom is left without an heir, and everyone is whispering about foul play. But no one dares to say it aloud. And so your veil has to choose a new king, while the schemers in the capital look at the empty throne and see only a ladder. Prince Arthur Rockbury, a well-known debauchee, has cornered the Yorvale's wine trade, and in his life of pleasure, he has only one objective, to secure his privileged position by any means necessary. The dangerous Countess, Eliza Devon. As the King's mistress, she had an established position in the Royal Court, but now will align herself with anyone who will help her retain her status. The army's commander, Judine Montre, is a disciplined leader with unparalleled focus. For years, she would use every occasion to try to rekindle the conflict with Ultramarch. And now, she's been given the perfect excuse. The cunning chancellor, Muvald Trovian, is the master of the royal treasury. He controls the movement of coin throughout the realm, and will use every opportunity to enrich himself. Because to him, gold is power. Meanwhile, in a village at the edge of the kingdom, where the trade routes cross, a young man prepares to take on the mantle of a local barkeep. Knowing nothing of his lineage, he cannot foresee the importance of his small tavern at the crossroads. All right, crossroads in from innkeeper to king. Yeah, so welcome back, everybody. All the new subs that we're getting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play do a playthrough of this one, and at the end, after we finish this, I will do. I would like to play a sandbox and just try to build our own tavern and see how well we do. I'm not sure how far this game goes in the uh, in the storyline, but um, you know. I would like to play this game uh, and finish this one out as well. I've been trying to do that a little bit more lately. Finish games out, you know, like uh, Planet Crafter, we finished. Ostrie, we almost finished. We we built one of everything. We didn't get the population up all the way, but we did uh, We did build everything. I would like to go back to Ostrie and try that one again, but we'll do that here yeah, soon. And then uh, we have this one, and then I have several others that, that I've recently acquired, and... Um, yeah, just wanting to keep trying different things and trying different games. Checking that out. But thanks for joining us. If you like this game, this style of game, builder games like this or whatever, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Glad to have you. When Owen the Great, the King of Yorvale, was found dead in his chambers, the whole kingdom went into mourning. His death surprised all. For until doing? then, the king had enjoyed excellent health. It had been widely believed that his reign would be long and fruitful. Well, I guess we're stuck on this screen. 
You know, that's one thing that I've noticed about this game is that it loads really slow and that it also kind of tends to bug out on this uh, <laughs> on this window. Okay. Oh, here we go. Finally. So this is our buddy Martin. Good news. I've managed to convince the miller to have his son's wedding his son's wedding party at our inn. So we get to choose what we say here. So a wedding, okay. Wonderful news. We can finally make it make it the inn of our dreams. Nice. Exactly. What's more, I took an, an advance payment to cover the expansion of our inn. Otherwise, all these people would never fit inside. And you will take care of that. I can't wait. Let's begin. So I close the inn for now, and no one will disturb you. Do you need my help, or can you handle it by yourself? I can handle it by myself. Are you sure? It's not an easy thing to do. No worries, Martin. You know me. Of course I can handle it. All tasks can be found in the innkeeper's journal. Let's talk again when you fulfill them. Okay, so let's get a move on here. This tells us what we can do here. You can switch to building mode. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do all this here. Okay, so we need to expand the end. Over here, it'll tell us what we need to do. Place some candles in the room. Place a barrel in the room. So let's start with some candles. There we have a well. Good. Your employee is leveling up. Good job, Martin. Good job. Nice. Look at that. Look at that tavern. Okay. So we need to place some candles in the room. So really what we want to decide is, is where do we want to go with this? Um, probably end up making the kitchen off this direction. Um, at, at least as, as long as we're able. And maybe some guest rooms back here while making the tavern maybe come this direction. But we'll, we'll see. First, let's, let's see what we have here. So we need to go here. We have some candles that we can place. All right. So it'll tell us here a simple chandelier. It's designed fitting for a harbor, a harbor tavern. Same here. This one just has a little bit more of an influence on the royals. And it's durable. This one is, what is this, fragile. Okay, so that one's fragile. This one's durable. All right, let's go ahead and do a couple of these here. Let's see, I'm assuming we need one over our area. Um, um. Okay. It's not quite even. Let's make them even here. All right, that looks good. So now we need to uh, place a barrel. A wine barrel or a simple barrel? Well, why don't we place a wine barrel? Let's just do that. Place that close by, good. Um, a place seats next to the tables. Okay. Simple bench, this is a simple long bench. So we'll just do simple ones for now. Um, how many tables? Three. Okay, we'll do three for now. That's a simple long table. Huh, a, shot, <laughs> a shoddy bench. All right, so let's go ahead and put some on this side now. Okay, expand the end. So we want to go ahead and do that. Um, let's go, I mean, we really have no other option but to go this direction. So go up here to build, hit expand. And then you click on the room you're trying to expand. So this is one, two, this is already four long, so we can go this way. There we go. All right, Martin, get that built. All right, great job. We could still add a few things, but overall, it looks pretty good. 
The interior looks better than ever, Martin. Well, I see you lack no enthusiasm today. Get to work then. Collect your reward from the innkeeper's journal. Then you're done. Let me know. Let me know there's something else. Let me know there's something else I need to talk to you about. Oh. Okay. So up here, <clears throat> as we level up, we go to the journal here and we can collect some stars. Okay, collected that one. This one's on the house. You handle everything very well. And so, since you're an adult now, I would like to give this in over to you. From now on, you will be managing it. Martin, thank you. I'm so happy. Since you'll be managing the inn, a lot of difficult conversations await you. Remember to make use of some sublime dialogue techniques like oratory, deception, intimidation, passion, and wisdom. I don't know if your enthusiasm comes from your sensitivity or maybe you're just sweet talking me, but I'm sure oratory and passion aren't, ain't strangers to you. Still, sometimes using the other skills might prove a better move. Think you can handle it? Let's see. Okay, so it'll tell us, it'll kind of give us a percentage on what we can do here. I strongly believe that if my words come straight from my heart, no obstacle will stand in my way. All right, heavens, keep talking like that and people will follow you anywhere. I'm sure you will become a great innkeeper. Oh my. Martin looks at you friendly. Uncle, you're overreacting. First things first, you will never know for sure that a given technique will work. The more you use it, the more effective it will become, regardless of whether it was successful or not. Obviously, the more I practice, the better I get, but it's never a certain success. Got it. People may have different reactions to specific techniques, so it's important to use more than one. You know me well, so it's not difficult for you to talk to me, but others won't be that easy. All right. So when will you let me talk to someone else? Okay, exclamation means that we can talk to them. These are our oratory skills. This shows what we just did. Yada yada. Okay. Oh, look at this scoundrel. Oh, look at this little guy. What's your name? I should get a drink, or two, or five. Well met, innkeeper. I've heard that you're expanding the main hall. That can only mean one thing. You're convinced the miller, you've convinced the miller to have his son's wedding at your place. And if that's the case, you will need alcohol. How many barrels of wine should I get you? Thank you, but I don't think we'll be buying anything from you, esteemed prince. I'm sorry to hear that, but you don't have a choice. Ever since King Owen died, there are new rules, new laws. I am the only one who regulates trade in Eastern Yorvale. The wine will come from my cellars, or there won't be any wine at all. So what will it be? Esteemed Prince. 85, 80, 75. Esteemed Prince, by hindering freedom of trade, you are inconveniencing every citizen in your domain. That makes sense. I need to think about it. Well, goodbye for now. Get out of here, you little swindler. How did he manage to get that monopoly? If he truly has exclusive ex exclusivity on trading booze, it will be difficult to buy fair-priced alcohol. Why do we care about a childish nobleman? Let's find someone else who will sell us wine. Wait, I might have a way. We will need a notice board. I want you to post a message saying, Cuckoo always cuckoos thrice. And then what? A bird will bring us booze? Something like that. But more specifically, the av aviary. I used to do. I used to do business with them. Hmm. I wonder if that will still work. If that still works. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get to it. Okay. All right. Let's set up a message board here. Get out of here. There we go. All right. Don't really want to block a window. Have to place it in here though. Right there. Okay. Good. Okay. So put a message on the board. All right. 
So right here we have secret notes, quests, and the furnish mode, and yeah, different things. So about um, uh, the message, a notice board, messages, bounties, notices, and of course, tons of adverts. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the secret note. Come on, Martin. Good job, sir. I love the uh, art style of this game. This is absolutely fantastic. I love this. This is so neat. This is so cool. I'm super excited to try... Hey. This life turned out not, not to, to be, be so bad. bad. Okay. Hello. Cares about the quality of food more than the quality of their company. Oh, oh. All right, did you post the note? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. In fame, you can gain fame points by fulfilling quests at quest guess expectations. The more quest the more guess you satisfy, the more fame points you will earn. Golly. Okay, as our fame grows, yes, 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 we can unlock stuff in the in the tree. What kind of carriage is this? I have no idea. Well, it dropped off some uh, folks here. Folk. Unlock a new social group in the innkeep. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, come back, come back! Every guest who visits the inn is a member of one of the five social groups. These groups are, are as follows. Distressed, outlaws, travelers, townsfolk, and nobles. Good. If a guest, guest leaves your inn satisfied, it will have a positive impact on the reputation with the social group they belong to and on your influence in their hometown. It will also somewhat increase your overall fame level. Distressed are the biggest social group in Delcree. They are numerous. They are as numerous as they are poor. It's best to know what outlaws do. This little rule. It's best not to know what outlaws do. This little rule is agreed upon by most of the people of Delcry. Delcrys. No matter the shady source of income of the outlaws, you have to remember that the members of this society too need a place to eat, drink, and relax. The most basic and most important needs of outlaws is alcohol. So make sure that there is enough beverage in your barrels and enough hardworking servants to bring it on time to the table. Unfortunately, this social group is known for its short temper. The more outlaws there are among the guests, the higher the risk of brawls and damage to the inn. Okay, well, good to know. Now, all we need to do is wait. Waiting is the hardest task of all. I hate waiting. If only we could speed up time. Yes, yes, yes. So now we need to wait. Well, hello, sir. Ren me. A cuckoo always cuckoos twice, and a crow only caws once. Hello, Martin. I've received a message that you needed my help. It's about Rockbury, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Who's this kid? Is he? I'm not a kid. Last time, last week, I turned 18. Well, that changes everything. I'm glad we agree. Have it your way. Let's get down to business. Other innkeepers are all also complaining, and I'm trying to stay on top of it, so I know all about your issues. It so happens that I have a barrel of fantastic Ragosin, Ragosin wine, smuggled, uh, uh, imported straight from Sambria. You can sell, if you can sell it quickly, I'll be able to get you more, perhaps even involve you in a trade on a bigger scale. No way, I won't make it. Yeah, yeah, no, we're gonna smuggle those booze. Well, we will be we'll be smuggling booze right under Rockbury's nose. Great, let's do this. Oh, and one more thing. Listen up, kid. I'm listening. What we're doing here is not exactly, uh, let's just say that some folks would disapprove of it. Since it's you who will be in charge, I want to make sure that 
that in a dangerous situation you are able to, well, say something that isn't exactly the truth, or even threaten somebody. I will do anything I can for the sake of my companions. Your favor among outlaws increases. Well, I can see that you're at least really motivated. Good. Good and good luck. So what about the wine? Ah oh, yes, here's a barrel. And farewell for now, innkeeper. You received 17 wine. Bye, Remney. Hey, let's get this picked up. Good for us. If we can distribute this wine, we won't have to pay Rockbury for anything. We will, however, need more workforce. Here's some money for expenses. Um, I can do it myself. Okay. All right. So, hey, get this picked up before they. Any nobles here? Okay. So let's go ahead and hire somebody. So we need to hire a servant, add wine to the menu, and take care of the wine. So he's taking care of the wine, and to add a servant, we come over here. This is your employee button here. Go ahead and hit employees, and we can you can deselect these ones here just to show those types. So we've got Tesney. Uh, she likes to smoke, and she's speedy. So let's hire this one. Okay, so she's hired, and now we... Hello, mate. What can I do for you? Good job. Okay, so the inn is closed. Took care of the wine, now we need to add it to the menu here. So if we come over here, this is our menu. Go here, we'll click on that, and then um, add it to our menu. Good, good. So we come here and clean... Nice. Okay. Time to make some money. Let's try to sell all of Remini's wine. It's going to be around 12 goblets. Get to it. So let's see. Um, where did our lady go? Look, where'd our employee go? Your employee is leveling up. Hold on. Okay, well, I don't I don't know where she's at. Okay, well. Let's just uh, let's just carry on. So let's make sure we have mugs and all that stuff. So we have our uh, resources here. We have mugs, candles, water, and wine. So good. There she is. Get to work. Remney, is that you? Oh, he came back for wine. Oh, who's this? Traveling gypsies, eh? Yes, who are you? Um, they are what townsfolk okay all right all right so I wonder if we should go ahead and add a couple of um, tables let's see let's go ahead and add another how, how big is the long table Go ahead and add some of these. There we go. Speed up time just a little bit. <laughs> Give me two drinks. All right, how much do we have? 17. We haven't sold a single one. Okay, there's one. Chug a lug, chug a lug. That's a big mug.
Well, right now the pile of dirty dishes is bigger than the pile of money we are supposed to be making. We could use a dishwasher. Get a dishwasher, got it. Okay, so if we come here, we'll look and find a dishwasher in our... This one here. Simple dishwasher. A very basic but fully functional wash tub. Uh, question is, is where do we want to put it? Huh? Can we wash dishes outside? Let's wash dishes outside. What else do we have to do? Uh, sell the wine. Okay, good. We are doing that. Very high priority, Martin. Get out here. Oh man, look at we are just. Oh man, we are filling up. <laughs> I got a message from Remney. Well, yeah, he's sitting right here at this table. He wants to expand our cooperation. He thinks he thinks of distributing wine to the whole of Eastern Yorvale. Not only will this guarantee us constant supply, we will also make some money on distribution itself. All we need to do is set up a stash on the first floor so that, so that that leech Rockberry doesn't find out. Um, I think I'll manage. Hey, where are you going, sir? Get out of here. Get a drink or two or five. I saw the blacksmith just a second ago. He was drunk as a skunk and coming from the direction of your inn. Where did you get booze for sale? Um. He was already drunk when he came, I swear on my honor. Oh, if that's the case, then I'm sorry. Anything else? What? Ah, right. Yes, I'm warning you, innkeeper. Starting today, I'll be performing routine inspections to find illegal liquor. Farewell. Get out of here. Okay, so we need to hire um, a drudge. We need to place a pallet. Place a shelf and at least two barrels in the inn. Okay, so let's hire a drudge. Um, kitchen staff, servant, laborer. To see this guy, Elias. Hire that guy. So they go around, they chop wood, they carry stuff around, they tend to the gardens, remove stones, carry resources to the warehouse, um, workmen and foremen. Okay, they also can wash dishes and they carry stuff from the kitchen, yada yada yada. Okay, good. So let's get this cleaned up. And we need to place a pallet. So pallet here. This is where all the supplies that we order um, are delivered. Well, if we want to expand our kitchen, we kind of need to place it out here, maybe. We'll place it out here. It's a little bit of a walk, but that's all right. Um, order with 10 wine. Okay, clear the way to the attic. He's doing that right now, or he should be. Place a shelf in two barrels. Okay, so... Okay, so I put, do I put them here or upstairs? I don't know. Let's order some wine. So we go up here to the world map. Oh, look, there's the bandit camp. Get us some wine, man. So we are charged an overall, like, 100... Uh, transportation fee, so we may as well get a few. Get a few, and then he's washing the dishes. Alright, dude, get out of there. Come over here and do this. So we need a shelf and a barrel. Wait for this guy to wash all the dishes, I guess. Elias, Elias, the bubbles. Okay, well we have to wait. Our wine has already showed up though, which is good. So once this guy gets done washing the dishes, Quite the hat there. 
that's uh yeah that's quite the hat that's it's impressive these clothes are very colorful your employee is leveling up which one yeah yeah what can i do for you this one's on the house this one is on the house bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. okay did he clear that stuff? Oh, he's getting it. Okay, good. He's clearing this out. Okay. Place um, a, sh a shelf and at least two barrels in the inn. Okay. Your employee is leveling up. Can we place them up here? So this is how we get from floor one to two. I don't know how many floors we could go. I wonder if it's just one or if we can do more than that. I'm not sure. Let's see. A shelf. A basic shelf. So let's place a basic shelf and then two barrels. Good. Order wine. Yeah, we did. Oh, zero of ten. Okay, so we did do that. Okay. First shipment was stored successfully. Remney will visit us in two days, about this hour. By that time, let's try to sell or store as much wine as possible. As much as possible? The aviary wants to smuggle a lot across the border. It's up to you to decide if you want to store the wine safely or sell it in the inn, as long as it's not lying outside on the pallets. Fine, I'll get more wine. Okay. Let's get some more. I think we have enough, but let's just do. Let's just get a bunch. Good job, boys. So we can actually check the status of our dirty dishes too. So. We have some dirty dishes, but not a lot. Your so. employee is leveling up. Ooh. What can I do for you? You? You leveling up? I have up? two biceps, and both are ready to work. What can I do for you? Um, let's see if we can find out their level. Focus on comfort. Focus on speed quality. Well, that's about right. So we can dismiss him too. So she's a level two. Uh, what is he? Is a level one. Okay, so she le she leveled up. Over there, she's over there smoking a pipe or something. You all right? Is that your twin? Wow. Okay. Look at this balding red guy trying to show off for the uh, for the ladies over here. What was that? Oh, this guy. This place is so boring. Missed me, innkeeper. I'm sure you knew I'd be back. Indeed, you have. What can I do for you, Duke? What a pleasure it is to see you again, dear Duke. I've heard a rumor that someone's selling wine in this area. My dear Duke, you are, in, are you insinuating something? I would never break the law, especially Duke's law. I too have heard about it. Okay, that one's pretty low. Eek, these are all pretty low. Ha! And what exactly are you trying to achieve by saying that, my poor fool? Are you trying to anger the Duke? The Duke who just so happens brought his men with him? Ha! If you have nothing to hide, I'm sure you won't mind them searching your inn. Uh-oh. They stole all our wine. Those jerks. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and set this in here. So they took all the wine we had up here, right? Yep.
The first batch sold very well. How do you feel in your new role? This mess is hard to control. I wasn't aware that an innkeeper has to watch over so many things at once. Fantastic. I'm just sitting and watching you do all the work. <laughs> uh, at first, it might feel like that, but don't worry, my boy. I'll show you the ropes and you'll get the hang of it. You'll get a hang of it. The sooner the better. We'll have an opportunity for that soon enough. Remember, Remney is introducing us, as he calls it, what? Introducing us to, as he calls it, a bigger market. Good. Good to know. Who are these guys? Are these the assassins or what? Or the, the, what are these guys? Outlaws. I feel like there's quite a few people here. Maybe we should get another... Hey, get out of here, boy. Hello there, innkeeper. I have returned. Indeed you have. What can I do for you, Duke? Illegal wine was found in your in an inn not far from here. Quite suspicious, don't you think? Why should I care? You are quick, indeed quickly becoming my favorite innkeeper in the area. Keep it up and it will benefit you, no doubt about it. Have a pleasant day, innkeeper. Nice. Yeah, get out of here. You silly little man. Yeah. Okay, so our chick here is still sitting here smoking. Let's go ahead and hire another one. Um, hire servants. So, uh, cheerful. Well, she's cheerful because she's a drunkard. Nice. Let's get her in here. Bum, 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 bum. Ulis. I live to serve. Yeah, get to work. Good, so now we have one guy to wash the dishes and carry in the stuff, and we have two ladies to serve the drinks and get all that done. So we have, let's see what we have, 35? We got another 30 coming, so hopefully they'll stash that quickly. What's in here? Candles. Dirt, you storing the dirty mugs upstairs? I can't move things from one from the top to the bottom. Oh well. I wonder if a shelf would fit right here. Maybe. Oh gosh, get these in! We'll talk to him in a minute. Get the wine, boys. There we go. There we go. Let's stash it real quick. Okay, now let's talk to this coward. <laughs> Missed me, innkeeper? I'm sure you knew I'd be back. What a pleasure it is to see you again, dear Duke. I've heard a rumor that somebody's selling wine in this area again, sir. An honest innkeeper would never do such a dishonorable thing. Let's try to find the one that's going to work. 
Oh, nothing? Okay. Good. Get out of here, boy. So let's pause it real quick. Let's get a little bit more. Since that seems to be what we're trying to do here. Okay, let's get this coming. Get the get the wine coming quickly. Nice. The Rockberry Fields. Strawberry fields forever. Where's the wine, Remney? Where's the wine? Boom. Oh, good. Ooh, I thought it was the guy again. I was going to say, you sorry, dog. So, how do you like the smuggling business, my dear innkeeper? It went quite well, considering that Rockberry was sniffing a barrel. If I were you, I'd avoid storing contraband from now on. Luckily, we made a few deals with other innkeepers in the area, so Rockberry and his men were literally flooded with our wine. And the bigger the flock, the harder it is to single out one birdie, if you know what I mean. Right, let's talk about the money. Why did it weaken? Of course, you've earned yourself a, a pouch of coins. Farewell. Goodbye. Can't ask for more when he's already unimpressed with us. Hey, man, we're 18 years old. Good work. Not only did we do our job, we also we also almost bankrupted Rockbury. I'm sure he won't be bothering us anymore. And since we can buy booze with ease now, we can finish the wedding preparations. Oh, by the way, I have something that you might find useful. It's my old cookbook. Inside you will find five tested recipes which can be used for the wedding. Bread soup, gourmet, gourmet groats, breaded mushrooms, grilled sausage, and barbarian stew. I'll pick something. We need to hire a kitchen hand. Order some cooking ingredients and decorate the inn. Do you need my help, or can you handle it? I can handle it. So the cooks, they, these guys just basically do all the, they basically do the stuff the servants do, but. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand our kitchen here. If we can place the cooking stuff upstairs. I don't know. Let's build. Um, build the kitchen. And a door outside. Bum, bum, bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and hire a kitchen kitchen hand right now while we wait for this to pop up here. Um, kitchen hand. Ragnar, 65, okay, if you say so. He's the only one, so. Um, decorate the inn, so we need to set up some kitchen appliances, so get this cleaned up. Um, so Ragnar's here. Right now. Um, let's look at our menu here. Uh, breaded soup. So we need sausage and bread, and uh, we have water in stock, so sausage and bread. Let's go ahead and get that coming over here. Uh, this is the end. We can trade here. Best thing to do is look around and try to find something that's cheap. Sausage and bread. All right, let's add a couple here. So let's add this one. If we do both of these, these will both be sausages, but then we can also do breaded mushrooms. So let's go ahead and add these. So let's pause the game real quick. So we want to get sausage and onions. 
and then we want to get sausage and bread, and then we want to get bread, mushrooms, and herbs. So let's see. Um, sausage was like really expensive down at that other one. Of course, this one doesn't have sausage. That's about right. Uh, sweet meadows. No sausages. Sausages? Really? Somebody's got a monopoly on the sausages? Are you kidding me? Bandit camp, we could trade with them. What do you got for sausages? 122. These ones were like 180. Yeah, look at that. 190? Holy crap. Okay, let's trade with the bandits. Uh, so we need like four sausages. Um, because we need sausage for this one and this one. Um, we need onions and bread. Do you have onions? Good, they do. Well, that's all. Good, so we have we have enough for this one, grilled sausages. Let's go ahead and get um, herbs and mushrooms and maybe some more sausage and bread. So herbs, do you guys have mushrooms? Good. Seven, seven, what the? Let's shop around a bit. Oh, there we go. Um, herbs. And maybe we should get some ale. They don't have ale. We'll get some candles. All right, so now that we have this, we need to find the proper stuff to cook with. So we are going to make a simple cauldron and a stove, maybe. But not in front of the door. Hopefully they can get in and out right here, I don't know. And then we need a wood, something to store the wood in. So there, and then we have the barrels upstairs, and we need a chopping block for the wood. They need that to be able to chop the wood. There we go. Which means we also need wood, so let's see. Wood. A little bit extras. Okay. So that's a lot of stuff, but let's see what we lack. So we need plates. Oh man. Getting firewood, we need plates. So let's get plates. Um, plates, plates. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Hopefully that'll be enough room. If not, we'll put another storage shelf right here. Let's just go ahead and do that. It's getting a little clustered, but that's okay. This is just our first starting in, so. Okay, we need firewood, but we, we oh, yep, see, all of our stuff came in, good. Look at, the, look at the detail, though, that's so cool. Look at the mushrooms, here's our plates and our mugs that we ordered, and our onions, and the candles, and bread, sausages. I mean, look at that detail, that's so cool. What is this one? Oh, a bucket of soap, wine, and some wood. Nice. Okay, here comes the drudge. Bum, bum. Good job, buddy. This is a tough life. This life turned out not what can to I be do for so you? bad. On it. Do we only have the one? Where's our other kitchen made? 
Oh, she's in here cleaning. What can I do for you? Ready for anything? There's too little food to feed all the patrons. Yeah, I know. We have plenty of food. Let's get this done. We just ordered a lot of stuff, so. What's your opinion, madam? None. Oh, look at this. Wild West. What is this? COVID-19 restrictions? Oh, yep. COVID-19. More like the black death, death, death. Can this go back a little bit from... There we go. Go back a little closer to the wall there. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. I know. That's why we need a... Uh, we need this guy to keep coming in here. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and hire another drudge. Somebody to help carry in all the stuff and wash the dishes. I'll clean it right now. Um, speed quality. Good. This is a tough night. Thanks for showing up. So we're gonna use soap here. I don't know if that increases the speed. Let's see. Hopefully. Boys need to start chopping some wood. Oh, we have plates, good sir. Good service. Are they... You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Oh, we'll be fine. Your employee is leveling up. I have two bots. Okay. An exclamation mark next to a meal name on the list means that you lack the required ingredients or kitchen equipment make sure that you have clean dishes too okay yes. so and let's go ahead and are ready to work what do we lack here oh we don't well we have a stove you we have a stove you fool let's go ahead and move this a little bit closer here that's cool, I like that. Right, go ahead and... yeah, sure, right there. Let's go ahead and expand if we can. Because we need to set up a grill. And I'll try to put the wood storage in the middle. And then, yeah, we'll try to put the wood storage here. That way it's easily accessible for everybody. And then we'll wait till we gain a little bit of money. And we'll, uh, good. So see, he's, he chopped the firewood and then he stacked it up. And that's what they use to, to do these two here. We just need to put, a grill in here. Let's see. We need the grill, but we just don't. Uh... Right? Is that what we need for that menu? Let's see. Um, requires a grill, I guess. That's that's kind of big, it seems. 
Seems rather large. We don't have the money anyways. Yeah, we don't have the money. <coughs> hey buddy, get to cooking. I'll clean it right now. This life turned out I have to two be bites, so bad. And both are ready to work. What can I do for you? This chick. I live to serve. Probably need to get rid of her. I have two biceps. And I'll both clean it right now. Oh, was it a rat I yeah, saw? Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, clean this place up, y'all. So we still need to decorate the inn, but I want to put a grill in here first. Yeah. So this one requires firewood. Now hopefully they can use this one here, I'm assuming. Hopefully that's Your not too, too far away. Up. Oh good. Go ahead and give him a bonus. Get, get on it, boy. Let's go ahead and move this out of here. Get that out of there. We'll keep the kitchen the kitchen. I have two biceps, and both are ready to I live to serve. I have two biceps, and both are ready. Your employee is leveling up. Where are you, Martin? Come back here. I'm not too old for this shit, but well, I'm you. getting close. Well, there you have it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we have some water. All right, so now we just need to uh, wait for some money. to store some of the resources. You're right. We don't have a woodshed, so... Two hundred on the money. Let's go ahead and check our menu here. <clears throat> what we can do is we can actually come here and you can see the face is happy here, but we can actually take this up a little bit. See, they're a little, little less happy and kind of mad. Let's go ahead and shake, take these up a little bit. So that way our money will continue to go up. Forty. Okay, did we get did we end up getting some logger? No we didn't. Let's go ahead and get well we don't have any money. Bum 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 bum. We just need some more logger. Kind of dark in here. Sorry, guys. Huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do this. Put this one here. Kind of move these around a little bit. There we go. Your patrons say your inn is too dark. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's upstairs. We just have dirty dishes. Nothing in here, and some wine in here. You guys, you have wine down here. Let's use that one. Okay. So, if we want to buy some decorations here, let's go ahead and see what we have for a wedding. That would be nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's festive. Okay. So that's that's for the common folk. Let's see what we can do for... Um, heavy duty chains on the wall will surely create a heavy atmosphere so often favored by outlaws. <laughs> okay. 
right, let's keep making money. Man, we are grilling sausages, we're grilling, I mean, we're just, man, yeah, we're doing great. We got all the stuff we need for all of the food. We only have two. Okay, dirty dishes, good. Maybe I should put this upstairs. Since they seem to be taking the dirty dishes upstairs. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell this guy. So you can sell anything that you have. Can't sell. It's in use. Okay. Sure doesn't look like it. And see, we don't have to... So, in order to have the chandeliers, you have to continue to supply candles and stuff. But we can put these ones in here. These, uh... A fire cauldron. And that just basically lights up the room with fire and that uses firewood instead of candles so I live to serve. well then get up and serve huh? did I burn something this is a tough night the boy's gonna be just fine. good job all the way around okay so I think we need to go ahead and get rid of somebody let's see we have too many drudges, really. Too many people. <laughs> so this guy's a drunk. Oh well, we'll just wait and see what we can do here. So, let's see what else, if we have any more points. We don't have any points. Yet. Um, try to satisfy the distressed and or the outlaws. So this, this is for the distressed, the chain is for the outlaws. We'll add a couple more things once we make some money here. The prices are so low. Really. How about now? Get this cleaned up, ladies. Get off your... This guy grilling sausages. I'll Good job. It right now. Give him a bonus. I'm digging that haircut, boy. I live to serve. So she's cleaning the grill. Um, 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 no, no, Ali. Was that a, uh... Yeah, I yeah, didn't think yeah. so. Only for workers. Don't you go up there. You don't go up there, lady. Gaining a little bit of money here. Let's go ahead and put some more... decorations on the wall for the outlaws. shield here.
Wait for our money to come back up. That's, luckily, they have the fast forward button on this. That way, our, our money continues to go up. Well, our candles burned out, but. Luckily, we have some more. See, so just added some more. I think it's 10, or is it 5 per. Yeah, 5 per chandelier. Even though it's six. All right, so we have a little bit more money. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. What could we add here? A skull. <laughs> um, let's see. Two hundred. Um, we could do like these little guys. Inn has never looked better. I think we can let the bride and groom know that we're ready. So, are we going to start the party? Yes, let's start the party. Your reputation is improving. <laughs> Your reputation is improving. Oh, here they come. Hello, bride and groom. What you on about? Let's see. She needs a drink. Funny how her picture shows red hair and she is a blondie. Interesting. Oh wow, look at this. Bum 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 bum. So we have a thousand now. Let's go ahead and add another chandelier. The guests are coming. The time for preparations is over. Try your best to make every guest as try your best to make every guest have as much fun as possible and don't be afraid to talk to them. Let's start this wedding already. One more thing, remember to char change remember not to change decorations during the wedding. Our benefactors might think that not everything was ready on time. Here they come. Do we have plenty of food? Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some lager. Let's see. Do they not have any? I guess maybe we don't have any. Oh well, we don't have money anyway, so. Remney, my friend. Ah, hello, innkeeper. Long time no see. I can't help but notice our wine is serving a higher purpose. Love. How do you like the wine? Same as always. Maybe even a little bit more. Who would have thought that this business will be so beneficial? Where did the aviary come from? The name of our organization comes from the dim and distant past when we would not meet up high, when we would meet up high on the rooftops of your Vale's capital city and scout for potential victims. Nowadays, we still do that. But, as you already know, we're also no strangers to more grounded and grounded level jobs. Your Vale's capital is the city of Ori. Orri. Okay, that's where the headquarters of the aviary are. You're not very good at basic geography, are you? Oh, Alright, let's change the topic. Would you like to talk about something else? Bottoms up. Suddenly, a smartly dressed, albeit rather drunk man, bumps into you. 
It takes you a moment to recognize your benefactor, the groom's father. Hello, innkeeper. Are you the one responsible for this party? What a classy outfit. I'm not used to parading ar around in such costly clothes, but bride's mum gifted them to me. I mean lent, just for this occasion, so... What do you think of your son's beloved? Such a nice girl. Very kind. Her mother scares me a little, though. How do you like the wedding? The inn is very nicely decorated. That's how a proper country folk wedding should be, should look like. That's nice Your to hear. reputation is improving. A young man, more or less your age, approaches you and smiles. Hello, innkeeper. I just wanted to quickly thank you on behalf of, of me and my beloved new wife. You did great. At first glance, I could have sworn that some nobleman was getting married. Well, my new mother-in-law insisted on this outfit. One day, while walking through a forest, I was ambushed and kidnapped by a gang. In their camp, they realized that I have nothing valuable on me, so everyone lost interest. Except for one person, for whom it was me who had stolen something. What? Her heart. I thought it was obvious. Very respectful people. Best of luck in your new life, sir. While walking around the inn, you accidentally bump into the bride. So you're the one our parents paid to organize today's event. I must confess that regardless of what my new mother thinks, this is the happiest day of my life. The beautiful dress. You think so? That's so nice. My mother was insisting that I wear a fancy dress looted, of course, during a robbery, but... I want a true country folk wedding, so this is the dress I chose. My paramour wasn't so fortunate. So how do you like the wedding? Despite my protest, my, got, my mother forced him to wear a very fancy coat. Okay, how do you like the wedding? Everything's perfectly organized, if you ask me. What do you like the most? The content of the menu. I was just wondering if I should order another dish or maybe more alcohol. I better do both. Do both. Hello, madam. A stately woman detaches herself from a group of guests and approaches you. Well met, innkeeper. Are you the one responsible for organizing my daughter's wedding? Your daughter looks stunning. That's obvious. She takes after me. Unless you mean that rag she's wearing. I tried to convince her to wear something that indicates her status, but she's stubborn. Anyways. You must be joking. I was expecting something much more tasteful than this. More skulls, weapons, trophies. I'm sorry to hear that. Grouchy old bee. A happy man in a feathered outfit greets you with a smile. Salutations, innkeeper. Remney told me a bit about you. The aviary is grateful for your help. And what a great party this is. How do you like the wine? Okay. Remy brought you here. Well, keep having fun then, sir. Good. Lots of stuff on the menu. Good job, everybody. Everything is going swimmingly. You, you think I don't know what you did? You'll pay for this, for everything. What in the heavens are you talking about, Rockbury? Don't, you've imported all that wine from Sambria and destroyed my business. Die in flames, you worms. Rockbury, no, you son of a... What a jerk. After all that work we did. After all we... Whoa, whoa, hey. You can pause the game at any time. Yes. Rockbury went mad. When Martin got to me, it was already too late. 
A torch he'd tossed landed on the roof. The building went up in flames in an instant. Then, during the struggle, Martin's bandage slid off of his arm, revealing a tattoo. A tattoo that would lead up to a series of unexpected events. Oh, really? Meanwhile, the fire that was consuming the inn spread onto the nearby buildings and the vineyard that belonged to Rockbury himself. <laughs> Terrified, the Duke stood and watched the aftermath of his actions. His senseless revenge was devouring his family's estate right before his eyes. It was the end of him. But it was also the end of the simple life Martin and his nephew had been living on the land belonging to the Duke. Old innkeeper knew that if they were to be safe, they needed to find a new home. And a new home we will find. The boy's gonna be just fine. Okay, back to get a loan here. Let's see. I guess we'll take 4,000. Well, they say that money doesn't bring happiness, but I'm sure feeling better, but I sure feel better having it. Let's get to work, my boy. It's time to build the soon to be famous Crossroads Inn. Okay. So let's go ahead and leave a little bit in the front here. It's going to have to be kind of small at the first. Get this going, Martin. Let's go. I'm not too old for this shit, but I'm getting close. Okay, so now we have the inn, right? Was that what we built? I feel like it's main hall. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and place a counter. And a table. We need a table, a simple table. Okay, two barrels. Nice. Your employee is leveling up. Well, we better get a little bit more. Oh, well, we want some more. We want more money. More, more money. Hire an employee, add alcohol to the menu, build an outhouse, obtain alcohol, unlock a new social. Okay. So let's build an outhouse real quick. Let's see. Outhouse. Okay. 
Okay, sometimes it's easier just to look through all of them. Do we have the outhouse? Let's see, I'm surely we have an outhouse. I see a doghouse, I see a well. Where is the... Golly. These are animal, uh, these are for the animals here. Huh, I'm not seeing this stinking outhouse. There we go. Go ahead and put that there. We need to obtain some alcohol before we... Before we go broke here, let's see. Lager. And wine. Okay, so let's get that coming here, and then... Oh, where did he get that? Add that to there. Hire an employee, and let's go ahead and get a servant here. Drunkard. The mixer on. Okay. Next, we need to do. do let's go ahead and put a chandelier in here. Maybe we'll do a small one at first. Put a pallet, that's why. You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Why? Is this a water barrel? Sell that one, we'll get another um, one of these. Place a window. Um, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. Well, we don't have food yet, dude. Like, come on, man. Food isn't even on the menu. Speaking of, oh, okay, we do have some mugs. I was gonna say, oops, didn't even buy mugs. <laughs> See, they want beds too, so we, we'll just have to expand slowly. And we need to unlock a new social group, so let's go here. It's this one here. Travelers, unlock them. And we want to go ahead and unlock tips, storage objects. Unlocks a dormitory which allows for renting rooms. Okay, increase the number of employees. Guests are more patient. 
can go up this way here. Tool shed. Alright, let's call it good right there for now. Well, this will do for now. Let's open our new inn. <laughs> Martin, we were like leaps and bounds ahead of you, son. And here come our first guests. Judging by their attire, they're travelers. Old Martin knows the life on the road, my boy. Hmm, since our new inn lies right next to where so many trade routes cross, it might be a good and profitable idea to build a guest room for all those weary travelers. Okay, guest room I'm on. Not so fast. We need to raise the fame of our inn so that people view staying here for the night as a fine idea. Remember that you can always hire a town crier in Crossroads to advertise our services. Okay, let's do it. But first, pay back a thousand. Start paying off these debts that we have. It's not cool to be in debt, but look how much. Oh, we don't have a. Oh, we don't have a wash barrel. Let's see. Okay, so for now, until we have a kitchen set, we're gonna go and do that. We're gonna move this. Um, we'll move it over here now and then we'll put a door let's put a door here how much are these just are all of them a hundred I guess they're all a hundred wow there's all kinds what is this secret doors okay dirty dishes yes we have dirty dishes So we need a place to rest. Um, I would like to expand more this direction with the tavern, take it back this way, and maybe put the rooms off on this side with the grand kitchen over here. But let's wait till our money goes up a bit. Hey, hurry up, Martin. Let's go. Um, and we have some ale or lager or whatever now. So let's go ahead and add that to the menu. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. There's no food, Martin. There's no food. We don't have... Your reputation is improving. <laughs> Your reputation is improving. Hire a town crier in Crossroads. Alright, my boy. It wasn't easy, but I managed to get back some of the money I paid for this bloody house. Less lot. Spend it any way you see fit. Just please don't forget to pay our loan. Okay, let's go ahead and pay the loan off. There and here. Okay, so we've done that. Now we want to hire a town crier in Crossroads. Let's see, where is Crossroads? Where are we? Uh, a town crier? better just add for the things that we have. Well, we don't have food yet. Okay. Well, we have some money, so let's go ahead and uh, let's build a kitchen now. Okay. And let's put a simple cauldron in there. Come on now. Your reputation is improving. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Your reputation is improving. Clean this. Um, we need another door.
over here, and now we need a kitchen. We need a kitchen set up, so let's start with the simple cauldron for now. And the wood holder. What is that? What is it? Is that water in there? What is that? And we need a chopping block. Where is the chopping block? There we go. Which means we need a drudge now, or I think. There's water on everything. Speaking of water, where do we get the well? Let's see. 1200 for a well, but that's probably worth it. And... time being. And let's get a water barrel. And so now they want guest rooms, but I'm thinking of expanding the inn first and then doing guest rooms right here. So let's expand. get ahead of ourselves here. tables here. Is that all we have? It's just a simple table, so... Um, yeah, it looks like it. Alright, alright. Go ahead and put a couple more here. Couple more tables so we have some actual. I'm gonna put this one in the kitchen. There we go. Nice. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get some. What, what do we need to. What can we cook on the grill? Let's see. Da -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum. That took a Cauldron, barbarian stew, and we could do this one bread soup. So we need bread and sausage. Sausage, 159. Okay, let's go ahead and get that stuff ready. Maybe. 
Is that what they're talking about? Let's see. Let's see here. Do we have a woodshed? Hey, look, we do. Why is it so big? It's a little silly. Okay. Um, we probably also need a message board and a rat trap. Let's go ahead and put a rat trap until we get a, a cat. There. Now we have all the stuff, right? Right. Wood and firewood. Cancel. Good job, sir. So now we have the stuff that we need. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. We haven't even started yet, sir. Be careful. Settle down. Bread soup. Let's confirm that to the menu. And then we opened up travelers, right? So maybe we would want to do breaded mushrooms. So uh, mushrooms and herbs. Um, mushrooms. 100. Herbs, 83. What about peeping farm? 100. Your employee is leveling up. 88. Wood and wine. So herbs and mushrooms, and we'll probably need some more bread soon. So let's go ahead and get some more bread. Well, how much was the cheapest bread? 52, peeping farm, 53, 51. Can we trade here? No, nope. can't trade here either. Get a few more things. I know it's I know I'm spending a lot of money here at the beginning, but we it's good to do just to stock up while we're while we have money. You got you gotta spend money to make money. Okay. And we are gonna need another shelf, I'm sure. What did we need to do that? Let's see. Um, breaded mushrooms takes the uh, the oven or whatever it is. This one. Okay, we'll wait till we get the stuff and then we'll add it to the menu. So all of our stuff is here, so let's go ahead and add that to the menu. Breaded mushrooms, check. Oh well, let's just put another shelf here and then I'm gonna, exp I'm gonna I'll expand the kitchen out. this way and then move this inside and then line the barrels up right here very nicely done Thing ready okay so breaded mushrooms we have enough for that stuff so we could definitely up our prices so and actually let's go ahead and just uh... do 
do this. Put a door there, and we want the light there. Keep it all consistent. So there's a door. And then we'll put the grill in here too. That way we can actually um, get more stuff so we can uh, sell to the, the outlaws too. Okay. Okay, that's inside. Okay, where is the grill? Let's see. Hopefully they can get in that door. There we go. Better use of our space. Apparently this door is still... Oh wait, no, you can't. There we go, good. Martin, you're going the wrong way here, buddy. Going the long way around. Good. Lots of stuff. We spent a lot of money, but we paid off all of our debts, and now we just need to add some more rooms for the... See, by doing this, we've left a, we've left this big space here, and over here, we maybe we'll even make a hallway, a hallway this way, and do rooms all off to this way, or something like that. Maybe we'll do a hallway this way and over, and then do rooms this way and that way. Interesting. Well, we can do whatever we want. Huh. Let's see. Build guest room, private room, or a bathroom. Okay. Storage room, empty room. A vital element of every inn, since it connects separate chambers, you can use it to sneak out of your lover's room in the morning or fall asleep also in the morning after a long night of hard drinking. Okay. All right, well. I wonder if that would be like a hallway that we could build. Let's go ahead and do, let's try it this way. I know that's a lot of our money, but we're gonna, we'll work on getting it back. build a guest room. I don't know if they'll come in here or not, so we're gonna... Actually, I want to sell this. No, I wanted to remove the... I want to remove the door. And then remove this building. And then add another private room. and then add a door. There. That way we can have two separate ones. Something kind of basic for everybody. So let's hire a town crier in Crossroads. Let's do that before we get too far along. I wanna, cause it looks like that little asterisk might be optional. all the quests that we have and then once we start making more money we'll add a bed two two bedrooms in here for people to stand what? always takes the wrong one soon enough sir are we doing on wares? Let's see. Plenty of stuff, it would appear. Good. OK. 
Okay, I'm thinking about moving this. There. That way they can come right in and out. Your employee is leveling up. Did I burn something? This one's on the house. Ready for editing. It's Nothing's on the house, Martin. Do not offer that. Well, we've spent all of our money, but we have expanded quite a bit, I would say. I'm leaving this open too, so that way we can move the kitchen either this way or out that way. Expand the tavern out this way, and then, like I said, add rooms here and here with a, a hallway that kind of joins them together. Alright, let's go ahead and look at our menu and raise prices a little bit. At least to where we're making max. Right there. There. Now we're maxed out on that. And we have the grill. Let's see. What do we need for adding that last one to the menu? Let's see. Um, we need grilled sausages. We need onions. So let's wait for that. We'll go ahead and add that one when we gather some onions. Good job, sir. All right, let's get some money. Give me, give me your money. There isn't enough places to sleep. Well, yeah, there is no places to sleep yet, sir. Which is a bed. I think it's 250. Let's see. Well, I guess there's not one that's preferred by the travelers. So maybe there just needs to be one. All right, let's see. Remove this door. Remove this. Yes. Remove this, expand this one. There, and it just... I don't, I feel like this needs to be a guest room, that's right. Okay, so let's pause it for a second. Um, remove. And let's make a guest room. That way we can add on to that, but then have like multiple beds in one. Okay. Your patrons say your inn is too dark. Yeah.
Okay, so a way we could actually get more money faster is to put a door here. And remove this door here. And then remove this here for now. Okay, now we, now we at least have this so we can get in here a little easier. And we'll have some money for some lighting. <laughs> um, okay, maybe that'll maybe they'll be able to access that. Hello, sir. So this one we can actually expand as the guest room and then we'll do the hallway and do private rooms on this side. So that's where I was messing up. A guest room is for multiple people and... This one's on the house. Was he tired or what? So now we have the stuff. We need onions. So let's go ahead and get some onions real quick. Um, onions, onions. 61. I'm just going to shop around a little bit here. 54. 62. It's closer. It's closer, man. Come on. Fifty-five? Which one was fifty-four? This one. Okay. So now that when that gets here, we'll add the grilled sausages to the menu to appeal to the outlaws. There we go. Before I forget, there's a letter waiting for you. Seems to be from a fancy high-class lady, given the smell of perfumes. Hmm, all right. A letter from a lady? Show me. Kind sir, the word in Yordale. Oh, the word in Yordale travels as fast as it travels far... Travels as fast... Hold on, hold on. Kind sir, the word in Yordale travels as fast as it travels far and wide and so it has come to my attention that you have opened a new inn in crossroads as i am always in favor of exploring the unknown i would love to meet such a young entrepreneur as yourself that being said i do hope you have a chamber fit for accommodating a countess regards king owen's court lady countess ellie elias devon A countess, you say? That's great news. I told you a new inn is what we need. Which countess are we talking about? Hmm, I've heard about her. A powerful woman with connections in the court. Also supposedly a lady of incredible beauty. But what would a noble like her want with us? It all seems a bit suspicious. Whatever. Well, she should be here soon, so. Um, did we ever get our onions? Let's... Your reputation is improving. Here comes our onions. Good. So now let's add this one to the to the menu. Anybody gonna pick up the onions? Let's get these. No, this one. So 
I guess the outlaws want to stay too. Needs the portage on, okay. So we could also add an, another bath, a bathroom back here as well, like a a bathroom for these guys, but then also um, we'll have to add private rooms for other people. How are we doing on stuff? Good on drink. Good on dirty dishes. Plenty of food, so that's good. Uh, I need the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So this guy's just like hard at it, dude. Busting up all this firewood. Your employee is leveling up. Oh, was it a rat I saw? Ah. Ready for anything? Yeah, yeah. Did I burn something? You give him a bonus. He's doing really good. This is a tough line. What can I do for this you? This is a tough line. This life turned out not to be so bad. Oh, was it a rat I saw? I hope not. Okay, so we need to build a private room. Wow, these guys are like running. Alright, well we have lots of people here, so that's good. Still chopping wood. We walked right by the door. So if we add a bath and all that stuff for these guys, they'll actually... Alright, let's go ahead and get another loan. private room build guest room uh oh that's the end i thought i thought we could come out here nice have some money. We're gonna need more money because she wants it to be nice, so. And we'll move this bed. Send the letter. Okay, so... Go ahead and build a door here, 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 and here, and we'll move this one. Access, have access here to the bathroom. And then she's going to want one of these beds. We'll see. I'm sure she'll tell us what she wants. But for now, let's go ahead and... Your reputation is improving. <laughs> Your reputation is improving. A uh, posh bath. Is there not like something cheaper? Uh... 
go ahead and kind of like for, format a little bathroom here. Don't worry, I'm aware of what happens in here. I've, I've already set it to where there will be no nudity in this game. None. Where's the lighting? <laughs> that guy had to go. Maybe we should put a door here as well. Move this one. Remove that one and then I'm going to add it back. No, no, no. Expand. How do we remove a wall? Okay. There we go. That did save us a little bit of money. We'll take that door and put that door here. For easier access for the guests to get in. Maybe, assuming this guy can get up and get out of there. Prices are a little high, yes, but we're, we're preparing for the Duchess. Here she is. Hello. Groovy lady. Groovy lady. Oh yeah, this is nice. Maybe we'll even move this over here and put a door from her room in here so she can... Not a chance, eh? Greetings, innkeeper. I'm Countess Elias Devon. I see the creator keeps you in good health, which sadly cannot be said about your inn. I must admit I was expecting more, but at least the surroundings are rather lovely. I assure my I assure my room has been prepared. Yeah. What a lovely compliment. Bravo and thank you, innkeeper. I think there's no denying that simple word can, words can hardly describe my beauty. I do hope you are as good with keeping your guests satisfied as you are with compliments. Such skill is bound to be uh, bound to benefit both you and your inn. I do hope I find it suitable. For now, I want I need to rest. We'll speak later. Okay, so now we get to see. She just needs a bed. She needs a private room. She needs a bed in there. I mean, is this enough? I don't know if that's enough. Well, we'll sell, we'll get her a room whenever she gets out. They can still get in. I don't know why this door is staying open. I'll go ahead and remove this one. 
and then build one here. <laughs> Your employee is leveling up. She sleeps way she sleeps way under those covers, I'll tell you what. Bum, 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 bum. This is a tough night. Doesn't seem that tough there, buddy. And they just this kicks back. On the house. Ready for anything. The boy's gonna be I'll just clean it right up. now. Yeah, you get on out of here. Kind of want to move this table, so. Once these guys get out of the way, we'll move it down. That way the, the door is more free. Good. How are we doing on food and such? One there. When we get a little bit more food, we'll... We'll see how this works out. Um, kind of want this one back over here. Good, so she has her own room now. There's not much in there, but I would have thought that she would need a little bit something more. Well, I, I guess you can go that way. Innkeeper, I see the room is ready. Indeed, your majesty. How do you like it? It's functional, yes. I imagine it could be worse. Maybe there is something specific you're desiring, Countess? All right. Maybe something from my beloved Sombria. A decoration of sorts reminds me of the beauty of the South. Would you mind getting me something like that, dear innkeeper? Looks, looks you knowingly in the eye. What do you know about me? Okay, so we need to get... Alright, right here. Send them to go get it. Yeah, your employee is leveling up. I guess he's gonna take the axe with him. Skeleton crew here, skeleton crew. How was it, sir? Okay. Prices are so high. We'll go down just a smidge. Hello, lady. I miss my griffin. My name is <clears throat> Melian. Milan? And I speak for the couriers. We've learned that none other than the blasted viper Elisa, uh, Elise. Alisa, I don't know. Devon, Devon is staying here in your inn. Is that true? Tell me what she is to you, for I fear you might not know who you're dealing with. The Countess is my guest, same as you. We've been dealing with that viper Devon for some time. Now, and let me tell you this, do not underestimate her. She seems like a powerful and dangerous woman indeed. I do not yet know what your goal is, your goal in all this, I do not know what's your goal in all this, innkeeper, but tread lightly, for you have entered a dangerous world, and if you ever decide to fight that blasted viper, we could help each other. 
All right. Um, is he almost there? Oh, he's going. Okay, good. Hey. I miss my Griffin. Mom. I haven't. Where? I don't see no. I don't see a Griffin. Bum, bum. Okay, place the rug. Good. So we have the rug now, and let's see. We can place it here. There we go. Is that better? Oh, the color, the quality of the material. Beautiful. Surely a handiwork of, the, of a Sambrian master. Probably from Ragosa. You can tell by the gold, so subtly embedded into it. Oh, you've made me happy, innkeeper. Thank you. Now the room is perfect. <laughs> Are all ladies in Sambria so... Yes. So gorgeous. What a poor soul like me <laughs> looked like a fool trying to describe their beauty. So reminiscent of an ocean wave, strong, beautiful, and hypnotizing. Oh, nice. You sure can make a girl's heart skip a beat, innkeeper. Oh, in the old days when I was living in Gambetta, and we were dancing in the streets. Gorgeous girls, beautiful boys. But that's all in the past. Let's focus on now. You need anything else? I got hungry from all this talk. Could you tell the cook to prepare me something to eat? Something local, or your veil delicacy, perhaps, or maybe something from Untmar, Untmarch. We are so very close to the border after a while. Where can I find this? Okay. Um. Splendid. Send your cook to Pluven. Plu to the east. All right, let's go there. Did our fellow make it back here yet? No, not yet. Okay, we need to uh, wait till he gets back. He's coming. He's coming. Bum, 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 bum. We are going to need to start gathering some more food eventually. Well, probably after we go here. Weeby, weeby. Hash browns, what? Better go get that one too, weeby. So now we have, um, well, we will have hash browns. Barbarian stew, this takes tomatoes and beans. Yep, beans, okay. Bum, bottom. Yeah, you know what we could do? Oh. We have enough room to make another room is my point here. I'm gonna take this door out. Yeah, you stop going through there. Go down the hallway that we've made. Really? Haven't we met already? It looks dull. The local chef is not interested in sharing his knowledge with anyone, but your employee is not one to give up. He spends countless hours trying to get the chef's attention, persuading him or just giving him no chance at all for, for a quiet moment. Eventually, the talented cook agrees to teach him how to prepare the meal for a price, of course. Okay, so now we need to acquire some potatoes. Potatoes. So we need, um, what is this? Cream, fat, and potatoes. Ooh, that, sounds, that sounds actually pretty good. 
Um, let's remove it for now. So let's wait for some money. Innkeeper, where's my food? How much longer do you expect me to wait? Unfortunately, some of the ingredients are really hard to come by. Oh, no worries. I know how to solve this problem. Just grab your spade and grow them yourself. Excuse me? You heard me. Okay. So let's grow some potatoes. Because we already don't have any money, let's spend the rest of it. Oh, what a potato patch. Bum, 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 Okay. Plant potatoes. And let's turn automatic plant on, automatic plant on. Good. Get after it. Or is that drudge? Weeby? Yeah, yeah. Do we actually have a cook? Alstero. Alstero. Hello there, innkeeper. May all the monsters scatter and hide, and all the bandits die of fright, for I, Two Fish Alstero, have arrived. As I am currently on a glorious quest, I may know. I may not linger here for too long. Alas, my companions told me that a beautiful lass is staying here in your inn, and so, and so see her I had too, as well as offer her the humble service of the knight's errand. All right, the countess, you say, even better. Take me to see her, kind innkeeper, so that I may introduce myself and offer her my services. As you wish. Representative... Oh, man, come on. Okay. Sorry, Countess. So we need some fats. What are we... Do we also have a loan taken out? Let's see. Yes, I think we do. You don't have enough bugs. Your guests can't drink. Really? Well, that begs the, the question, well, what the devil happened to all the mugs? Oh well, they're just going to have to wait. Or, we'll just have to postpone our hallway here. have to go that way. And actually, we can even remove this. Sorry, lady. I know what you're thinking. Not a chance. You have no idea what I'm thinking, lady. Um, we need mugs. What do we have for plates? Let's see. here. Where do they? Let's 
So we need fats and potatoes and what else? What was the, on that menu? Um, what was it? And cream. You okay. don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Where the devil do we get cream? Cereal. We have no cream. Interesting. Hopefully they have the stuff we need. Yeah, of course not. Why did they have to pick that one? Why well, we have to try to find cream somewhere else? now that's right. okay good like what what happened to all of our mugs <laughs> all right so now we need to keep looking for cream All right, let's try to find some other places to trade with. Nice. Oh, come on now. Yeah, so we have like no cream anywhere. That's crazy. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to come up here. Aha! Uh -huh. May as well get that much. May as well, because now we're going to have the stuff to make. Um, what do we need to make it? Oh my gosh. Bum -bum. What the heck is that? Let's see. Let's see what that is here. Oh. A simple stove. <laughs> Cool. Well, that's kind of fun. Your patrons say your inn is too dark. I don't care. We don't have money to spend on candles. <laughs> How much firewood do we have? Well, yes. We're still doing okay on firewood. Oh, hey, thanks. Did I burn something? I have two biceps, and this life turned work. out not to be so what bad. What can I do for you? Thanks as always. Where's our stuff? It's still coming. 
they're getting there. So we, uh, why don't you water these, boy? Is that a dog? That's a cat. We need those. Bet the pooch. I guess this guy's not sleeping very well. These ones are Z's and this one's kinda he's he's laying there like You don't have proper equipment to store some of the resources. Oh we don't, huh? We don't, do we? Well, let's, uh, let's build another shelf here. Till we have the money to store our stuff. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Do we have a bed? Yes, uh, we do. Hey, come back. Oh, well. So now we have the stuff. Let's go ahead and add the hash browns to the menu. Good. Oh dear innkeeper, I see you've managed to get those potatoes. <laughs> Shame it took so long. I'm no longer hungry. Besides, Duchess Holt and Baroness Miel are such blabbermouths. Tomorrow the whole of your veil would be talking about my figure and not in a good way. So what? The more of a woman the better, absolutely. Good food doesn't fatten up, dig it. Ha! You sound just like my late husband, Count Devon. Such a frivolous attitude to life. Sure is refreshing after all the time spent at the royal court. I'm bored. Go find me a bard. Right away. Alright, let's find a bard. So we just need to save up a little bit of cash flow. Go ahead and move this here. I don't know if I'll be able to fit a stage back here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, that's for the pets. Where is it? You'd think it would be under... Maybe they haven't given it to me yet. Oh well. Let's let it keep going. Set up a stage for the bard. Actually, you know what I might do? Let's just add on to the guest room here. No! You want to expand it, that's what. There. 
I mean, because basically over here, we're only one block away from being able to not being able to use that one. So we may as well open that up and then we can put probably like five more beds in there. Now let's find the uh, let's find the bard stage here. Where is it? Uh, let's see. There it is. So. I wish it would fit. it would fit a little bit closer. Okay, so if you hold shift, you can actually kind of manipulate them a little bit further in. So where's the bard? Does she need a room too? Perform. Charlie Chaplin. We've been transported to 1920, y'all. Where's the Countess? She better be watching. Okay, good. Nice. Good. performance of my life. Oh, thank you, Charlie. Well, encore, I guess. Encore. Cat, don't we? What a fine minstrel you've hired, and what a great performance. Congratulations. He did what he was paid to do. Now, is there anything else? I'm glad you've enjoyed the show. Can I do anything else for you? No, that will be enough. Do not visit me in my chamber. But do visit me in my chamber at midnight, innkeeper. Okay. All right. I mean... It Whatever you say. I want a private room. Don't we all? Okay, so we can actually put up a few decorations now. So let's see what we could put up for entertainment here. Something for them, what would this be? The nobles enjoy the flower pots. Hey, these little these little guys come in here and drink all your wine, man. I don't know what these are. What the heck is that? Can't you do anything, cat? Yeah, get him, cat. Good job, cat. Okay, um, what were we trying to do? Oh, we're trying to put up some decorations. So why don't we go ahead and add something for the animals, since they just did something nice for us. Uh, do we have... There we go. Little 
shot the bowl here. It's not shift either, it's control. Hold control down and you can move that stuff in there a little bit closer. There we go. Something for the uh, commoners and something for the these guys. We'll find something for travelers here in a second. Get down on your knees and tell me I love you. That's cool. The light shining through the... Yeah, that's that's cool. Those little little details like that, you know? It even shows the outline of the actual window itself. That's... I appreciate things like that. That's nice. Good thing we have that cat. Your employee is leveling up. Clean it right now. What can I do for you? Where are you? Yeah, yeah. This one's on the house. On it. Okay. So there's that stupid mouse. Or rat. Where's our rat trap? Get him? Looks like it. Okay, good. So we could actually make a room for this this bar to stay at and then uh, have have a private spot for her. We could actually... See, I'm already cutting into my tavern space. I want to keep the tavern going this way. But I also... I guess I could do a hallway this way or a room through here and do a private room back here. No, there's not enough room back here. That's why I did that. Okay. All right. I turned the... Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. You know what that means. We're just gonna have to put in... We don't have time for your nakedness. This is a family, family friendly channel. There, now it's hidden back there, good. So we don't have to see that lewdness. Okay, what are we working towards here? So let's let's build something for the travelers here while we're waiting for the countess to do whatever. Common folk.
We got nothing for travelers. I guess travelers like the uh, fires and stuff. What did I set there? No, I wanna, didn't want to do that. Sell that, and then we want to find something. I guess the travelers like the the lanterns like this. These that we could put on the walls. There. That way everybody's got a little something, make everybody feel nice. Okay, Countess, can we finish up here? Now we just have to wait. We're just waiting. Your employee bum, bum, is leveling bum, bum, bum. up. Good. It's about time. <laughs> this thing oh I thought that was a cat laying there I was like what the <laughs> it's not it's our nice skull here so this guy looking all strong and devout over here good job right now. the boy's gonna be just fine. I live to serve okay she's have some bath what are you mad about, lady? I'm used to better company, but I guess this will happen. All right, innkeeper. I must admit, I had a lot of fun watching you run around, trying to cater to my every whim. However, now that everyone believes that the arrogant and pampered countess went on a trip just to make a poor innkeeper's life difficult, let's talk about my real reason for being here. And that reason is... Thanks to me marrying the late Count Devon, I gained access to huge wealth, but also something much more powerful. Do you know what that might be? Power. Something like that. I have a lot of contacts, friends in high places, and lo, if you and I joined forces, I could easily get you papers allowing you to trade with Sambria, with Sambrian merchants. Papers? Yes. For me, it is nothing. For you, it's an access to a whole variety of exotic goods and high-class clients. Imagine how lucrative that'd be for you. I am honored by your offer, Your Excellency, but I'm just a simple, hard-working man. All cards on the table, innkeeper. You know very well it's about you and your lineage. Let's work together and we'll both end up on top. My lineage, huh? I have figured it out, boy. I know who you are. Rockbury told me about your guardian's tattoo. What reason would an elite soldier from King Owen's personal guard be doing in a, in a place like this? Other than taking care of a royal... <laughs> Me? King Owen's son? Has he never told you about that? Ha! Huh, that is rich. Go on and ask him, and ask him what else he's been hiding from you. Okay, well... Um, so, so the witch is finally leaving. Have you found out what she wants from us? Will she cause us any more trouble? You lied to me, Martin. 
Countess Devon just told me the truth about my birthright. Huh. Shut it, liar. I'm sorry, my boy. All that I did was for your good, and exactly as your father had asked me, I am and always will be loyal to my king. Why the lies, Martin? Because... Why? Because there were people ready to kill you. The king and queen of Yorvale have always been in grave danger. All rulers are. Your father wanted something better for you. That's why you were never supposed to learn the truth. I'm sorry, my boy. I wanted, and still want, only what's best for you. I understand, Martin, but promise me no more lies, all right? I swear on your father's grave, I will always stay loyal to him and his bloodline. In all this, I think I regret the most that I've never met him. Maybe he'd know how to deal with the Countess. Speaking of which, what else did she say? She wants to become my ally. I see, and how do you intend to respond? I will accept her offer. I trust you will make the right choice, but an alliance does seem safer than open conflict, especially if she knows your secret. Thank you for your advice, friend. Madame? Excuse me, madame. Oh, to be young and an alliance. Again. Good thing I'm still beautiful. Youth is not everything, my good lady. An alliance with you, Countess, seems most profitable. Splendid. Await a letter from me in a few days. I already miss you, Countess. <laughs> All right, she's out of here now. I see the Countess is finally gone. What did you tell her? We formed an alliance. All right, one problem gone. Another one will soon present itself. But remember, my boy, you can always rely on me, and not only because of my promise to your father. With your help, I know I'll overcome any obstacle. Going, uh, let's see. Okay. All right. So right there, guys, this is where we're going to end it. We're going to save it, and we are going to pick back up. We are going to pick back up on this one at a different time. But hey, if you guys like this game, if you like Crossroads in, hit like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to finish this one out and do a sandbox uh, a build just to see what we can do, see what we can accomplish. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me today playing Crossroads in, and we will see you guys on the next episode where we will continue with the campaign and continue on with this until we finish it. And like I said, then build our own in. So, all right, guys, if you like this game, like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys.